Cinity is proud to announce the release of a suite of migration dashboards that will enable executives, project managers, and consultants to better track and manage migration projects using advanced data migration. The Cinity Knowledge Platform has leveraged world-class cloud business intelligence and newly acquired technology to integrate data from the Stewardship Tiers, or DSPs, ADM solution with dashboards that are embedded in the Knowledge Tier. The suite of migration dashboards provide project status information at a level of detail that supports the needs of different stakeholders. The executive summary provides senior stakeholders with a high-level overview of all of the projects. The milestone reporting dashboard provides project and program managers with the ability to track design, mapping, and build activities against agreed project scope and completion thresholds. This ensures deviations from plan can be picked up early and addressed accordingly. The Object Status Dashboard provides project managers visual indicators to assess whether they are tracking to plan plus detailed status metrics. Dashboards can be filtered by wave, process area, planning group, or object owner, allowing project managers to drive team status meetings using the dashboards. If issues with an object status are identified, lower level target table information can be accessed and in cases where data is being migrated from multiple data sources, it's also possible to drill into the metrics associated with specific sources. To support the new migration dashboard capabilities, the Stewardship Tier 7.2 version has introduced some new concepts and functionality. The first new concept is that of planning groups. Planning groups are assigned to WAVES and are used to group together objects for planning purposes. This allows a migration project to be broken down into smaller blocks of work that can be more easily managed and tracked. A wave can be assigned to one or more planning groups with each planning group having target start and completion dates for design, map, and build activities. For more granular tracking of an object status through design, mapping, and build activities, an object can be assigned to a planning group. This allows planning dates from the planning group to be inherited. Alternatively, dates for a specific object can be maintained as well. This enables project managers to tightly track progress. An object can now be easily removed or added from the scope of the project by clicking the Activate Deactivate icon. Consultants can communicate that target design activities are complete by clicking the Set Design Finished icon. Project managers can efficiently update planning data by downloading all objects in a wave to Excel, modifying the data, and then uploading the data back into the stewardship tier. The third new concept is milestones. Milestones are used to create project goals related to the design, mapping, and build of the migration solution based upon specific dates. Through the assignment of planning groups, the objects associated with a specific milestone can be defined. Milestones of type design slash build are used to set goals related to design, mapping, and rule build completion, whereas milestones of type execute are used to set goals related to the data quality of a specific load cycle. The scope of which objects are included in a milestone is based upon the planning groups assigned to that milestone. To ensure the dashboards deliver accurate information, it's important that project managers and consultants alike actively manage planning and status-related information in ADM. Project managers need to ensure that objects have been updated with the latest planning data that is aligned to wider project plans. It's recommended that the project is broken down into a series of milestones that enable regular checkpoints against wider project status goals. Through their day-to-day -day use of ADM, consultants working on the migration project play a key role in ensuring that metrics are up-to-date and accurate. In the following example, the target design status to plan for activity type is showing as being overdue, even though the target design percent complete is 100. By drilling down into the target table detail, we can see that the design due date is passed. However, the target table design status for one of the tables is still in progress. To rectify the problem, assuming that the design is actually complete, the consultant responsible for the objects should set the object to design finished. This will set all the target tables with this status and then update the design status to plan to on track the next time the metrics run. In the following example, the field mapping status to plan for fixed assets is showing as being behind plan. By drilling down into the table detail, we can see the field mapping start and due dates. These dates are used to calculate forecast percent complete based upon how many field mapping days have passed. Field mapping metrics are driven based upon mapping status in ADM. 
Setting a mapping action and entering the associated information will set the status to in progress, while submitting for approval will set the field as being complete. In our last example, the rule build status to plan for internal order is showing as being behind plan. By drilling down into the table detail, we can see the build start and due dates. These dates are used to calculate forecast percent complete based upon how many build days have passed. Rule build metrics are driven based upon rule status and ADM. While building the migration solution, developers should ensure that the automation tasks are run to create the rules that will transform the data that are run and that manual rules are created and their rule statuses are updated accordingly. Thank you for watching the Cinity Knowledge Platform Migration Dashboard Overview. For more information, check out our online help.